Okay, so now that you've read about some of the decisions and changes that we are making at Red Balloon, you may now be wondering why these decisions, why now, and where the heck are you going with all this? So as many of you know, or maybe all of you know, Red Balloon started um, out doing communications work. And over time, what we were finding is that even though people were hiring us for communication stuff, what they were actually looking for were the intangible things that we brought to the table. So things like positive energy, clarity, inspiration, creativity, enthusiasm. And as word spread about the experience of working with us, what started happening is that our clients were calling us looking for that. So it's not necessarily what they were buying, but it's what they wanted. Um, and as that happened more and more, the one thing that we noticed is that all of our clients shared um, the fact that they were basically in this period of unknown. So all of them would call on Red Balloon when they were starting something new. So whether that was they wanted to create a strategic plan that looked nothing like the last one, they wanted to start a new initiative, they were feeling stuck and were embarking on a new year and wanted to feel differently about it, um, maybe they were solving an emerging problem or developing a new brand, whatever, you name it, they were in a period of unknown and wanted us to help them focus, get on the same page as a team, um, and generate some genuine enthusiasm and excitement for what it is that they were trying to do. So by the time Colette and I launched our new website in January 2014 um, and Red Balloon kind of came out like looking like this whole new um, sort of person, um, that really was about claiming the space that we had found ourselves in. It was really for us about coming out and saying we're here to bring some soul into your business and to help spark the clarity, inspiration, and ideation that your team is really craving. So. We've been bringing that kind of support into um, meetings and planning sessions for two years now. Um, and we really are just at this point where we feel like it's time to take the methods and activities and mindsets that we've been using um, and really make it more accessible to more people. So we're at this point where it feels honestly like a disservice um, to only be bringing inspiration into team environments. There are artists, creative professionals, entrepreneurs, even just people who are craving um, intention and inspiration in their individual lives, all of these folks could benefit from what we're doing and making. Um, and th there are people just like us um, who don't necessarily have a big kind of team around them to be able to generate the kind of support that you need when you're creating and um, doing great things in the world. So Really, the question for us just became, why are we limiting ourselves to only supporting those who can assemble a team in a boardroom, basically? Like, that just started to not make sense anymore. So, especially because while all of this has been going on with Red Balloon, Colette and I um, have been going through our own very paralleled kind of experience of trying to bring our soul to work with us. So we've been obsessively exploring personal growth and the creative process, fear, intuition, inspiration, um, getting unstuck, all the stuff that our clients have needed, we've been trying to figure out for ourselves. Um, and we've spent literally thousands of hours using books, magazines, courses, coaches, in conversations with each other, doing our own lifestyle experiments. Um, and we finally now feel like we're at a place five years later where we're ready to just share what we've been learning with other people who are going through similar things. Um, I mean, there's never a point in life where you figure that stuff out and that journey ends ever. Um, but we at least feel like we've been dedicated to it for long enough now that we um, are in a better position to be able to really be sharing and doing more of that storytelling and connecting with people um, and relating to them about what that experience is like. So whether we are bringing 10 entrepreneurs together in a room for a workshop or creating like a DIY workbook that somebody can be using on their own terms, like at home in their own life, we're just at this point so hungry to make our work accessible to people and to help them connect with themselves on a level that works for them. Um, and that certainly doesn't mean that we're cutting teams out of the picture or like out of Red Balloon or out of who we care about. It's just that, that there's plenty of room for um, supporting teams and supporting people on an individual level too. So that's why we're willing to make all these changes to how and where we work um, because that willingness to change our habits is ultimately, ultimately just a symbol um, of the growth that we really feel like we are ready for and that we're trying to invite in. 
So basically we're taking leaps of faith um, in the right direction, in the direction that we know we want to go, um, trusting that it will add up and pay off. So it's really that simple for us. So stay tuned. God knows what's going to happen from here. Um, anybody's best guess, really. I mean, it's one thing to have a vision, but can't predict everything in life, right? So um, we will see. So thanks for being on the journey so far.